telephone is a device with the help of which two or more people can talk to each other even while sitting in different countries of the world. Today, even though the mobile phone has become the most modern means of telecommunication, but the beginning of the mobile phone has also started from the wireless telephone. Telephone is one of such important discoveries of science which has changed the face of telecommunication in 21st century. The smartphone and mobile we are using today used to be in the form of a telephone earlier. With the help of smartphones, we can do many things other than talking to each other, such as playing games, accessing the internet, sending photos and video messages, making video calls, listening to songs, watching movies etc. You see, social media can also be used on a smartphone which was never possible on a telephone. In the olden times, people used letters to send their messages. But ever since the telephone was invented, any person can talk to any other person irrespective of the part of the world he is sitting in. All of you must have talked to the telephone at some time or the other, but have you ever thought that who invented the telephone? Scottish scientist Alexander Graham Bell invented the telephone on June 2, 1875. Alexander Graham Bell took the help of Thomas Watson in the invention of the telephone. After this, on March 7, 1876, Alexander Graham Bell patented this invention in his name and he became its official inventor. The first words that Graham Bell spoke to his assistant were Mr. Watson, come here, I want to see you. It was a great achievement. Let us tell you that Alexander Graham Bell not only invented the telephone, he also invented many other technologies such as bell, photophone, metal detector, optical fiber system, decimal unit etc. But he is mainly recognized as the inventor of the telephone. Scientist Alexander Graham Bell was born on the 3rd of March 1847 in Scotland. Graham Bell's father was a professor while his mother was a housewife. Both Graham Bell's mother and wife were deaf perhaps the reason why Graham Bell was so interested in phonetics. He gained fame only after the invention of the telephone but his other inventions included the metal detector, audiometer, photophone, hydrofoil and aeronautics. The history of telephone generations can be understood in terms of technological advancements and changes in the way telephone systems were designed and operated. Here's a brief overview. 1. First Generation this marks the era of Alexander Graham Bell's invention of the telephone in 1876. The first telephones were simple devices that allowed voice transmission over short distances using wires. Manual switchboards were used to connect calls, and operators manually connected wires to establish connections between callers. 2. Second generation. During this period, there were significant improvements in telephone technology. The introduction of rotary dial telephones in the 1910s replaced the need for manual switchboards for local calls. Automatic exchanges allowed callers to dial numbers directly. Long distance communication was still dependent on operator assistance and multiple switching points. 3. Third generation. The mid 20th century saw the transition to digital technology. This era marked the introduction of electronic switching systems, which were more efficient and reliable than their mechanical counterparts. This paved the way for direct long-distance dialing without operator intervention. 4. Fourth Generation The fourth generation brought further digital advancements, including the integration of digital signaling and computerized switching. Digital trunk lines and fiber optic cables improved the quality and capacity of long distance calls. The rise of cellular technology and the introduction of mobile phones revolutionized communication, allowing people to make calls while on the move. 5. Fifth generation. The fifth generation, often referred to as 5G, is the current phase of telephone technology. 5G technology offers significantly faster data speeds lower latency, and improved connectivity. It not only enhances voice calls but also supports a wide range of data-intensive applications, including video streaming, virtual reality, and the Internet of Things.
Each generation of telephone technology has brought about innovations that have transformed the way we communicate, interact, and stay connected with each other. The advancements continue to shape the telecommunications landscape and the way we use telephony in our daily lives. Here are some pros and cons of using a telephone. Pros 1. Instant communication. Telephones allow for real time communication, making it easy to connect with others quickly. 2. Wide accessibility. Telephones are widely available and used, making it a convenient way to reach people across different locations. 3. Voice tone. Telephone conversations allow you to hear the tone of the speaker's voice, which can convey emotions and nuances that text communication might miss. 4. Clarification. Complex or important discussions can often be clearer over the phone compared to written communication. 5. Personal connection. Hearing someone's voice can create a more personal and engaging connection than written messages. Cons. 1. Lack of visual cues. Telephone calls lack visual cues, such as facial expressions and body language, which can lead to misunderstandings or misinterpretations. 2. Inconvenience. Both parties need to be available and willing to talk at the same time, which might not always be convenient. 3. Cost. International or long-distance calls can be expensive, especially if you're calling from a landline. 4. Privacy concerns. Phone calls can be less private than written communication, as they can potentially be overheard or intercepted. 5. Lack of record. Unlike text messages or emails, telephone conversations are typically not easily recorded or referred back to for accuracy. Remember, these pros and cons might vary based on personal preferences and specific circumstances.